You are a good Adventist student. You go to an Adventist university. You dress up for church every Sabbath. You give a full tithe. You do your devotions. You do outreach. You make your haystacks vegan, but you try to eat raw when you can. You enjoy the occasional mingling with Tiffany, your dream girl on your Adventist campus. You are always praying this will work out. But there's a part of you that's telling you that you're not actually a good Adventist, that you're too comfortable in your Adventist bubble, <laughs> that the mission field is so overwhelming and the only people you shared the gospel with are people that already knew it. <laughs> Disgusting. One day you get distracted from your boring studies and you find that there's a window in the world containing over three billion people who have never heard of the gospel truth. That's one in three people. And Americans are still spending more on Halloween costumes for their pets than for ministry to these people. These are people who never have and never will experience the true joy, peace, and assurance of eternity unless someone makes a sacrifice and goes. You're confused, angry, guilty. You've been apathetic far too long. You want to go be a student missionary. You must go and be a student missionary. Well, this is what you're not going to do. I'm quitting school. You're not going to drop out of school, give away everything you have, pack Bibles and Spirit of Prophecy books, and hop on the next flight to a random remote place, take a bus to the edge of the mission frontier, hoof it across rivers, lakes, and mountains in search of the most remote indigenous tribe. Hey Siri, take me to the remotest indigenous tribe who have never heard of Jesus. Don't give up, you're getting closer. You've arrived. A few moments later. You're not going to whip out those books you packed and start handing them out. A few minutes later. Or make them change their dress. A little longer than a few minutes later. Or go to great lengths to educate them about health reform. Water is raw, vegan, and gluten-free. Very healthy. Three hours later. Ultimately spending your days and nights squatting over a hole because of the food you ate. At this moment, you're thinking, what in the world have you gotten yourself into? and you start reminiscing about your moments with Tiffany. But come on, you are here, so you decide to make the best of it. Many unbearable hours later. You're not going to hold an evangelistic series. Daniel 8, 14. Until 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Then make an altar call for baptism. Please stand up to be baptized. You realize nothing is working. Soon after. Lord, I want to be a missionary. And you find yourself thrown out of a village with no converts, no results, no mercy, nothing. Siri, please. I just want to go home. Good luck. One eternity later. You finally make it back home, only to find that you've lost your FAFSA grants. Your friends are absolutely angry at you. And your dream girl Tiffany has definitely moved on. You're not going to do any of these things. Instead, what you can do is visit Adventist Frontier Missions at afmonline.org. Check out our many mission opportunities to reach unreached people with the gospel truth. We want you to have a life-changing year. That is why we work with your needs, provide student loan deferment, and give a world-class summer training for missions before you launch. Don't be like this guy. Let your year of missions be different. And when you're ready, give us a shout. No natives were taken advantage of or mistreated for this production. Now, where would you like to go for your student missionary year?